I have something, this called movement in a line, I have some kind of an object which is fixed to move in one dimension. So you can think of you have a string and you have an object moving over there. It's limited to the movement is limited to one dimension and it's just basically a straight line. And now in this case, so this is my object over here. S denotes the displacement of the object. We could have different units over here. We could say that, okay, initially let's say that my object, the, the displacement over here is zero. And then <coughs> as time increases, so now we have the displacement as a function of time. As time increases, my object will move, the displacement will increase. My object will start moving to the right. We're going to discuss this in detail later. We're going to relate acceleration and all kinds of stuff like that to this situation. And let's say that I'm now in the graph of displacement as a function of time. Let's say that I have a point here. And let's say that when I draw the tangent to the graph at that point, and Imagine that the slope of this thing would be 2 in this case. So this is time in seconds, and this is displacement in meters. Now the question is, okay, what would a slope of 2 mean in this context? This is a specific time. It doesn't matter what the time value is. But at a specific time point, the slope of a tangent would be 2. What would it mean in this case? Have you had this in physics? Yeah. Sorry. That's the velocity. That would mean the velocity in this case, right? And what it specifically means is that it's the instantaneous velocity. So it's the velocity of the object at that exact time point. So this has a changing velocity, and at that exact time, what the velocity would be. And if you think about this, okay, the slope would be 2, that would mean that, if we discuss this a bit further, the slope of 2 would mean that if I take the time point t, and I take the time point t plus 1 over here, so if I move 1 in this direction, that would mean that for a straight line, then that thing would be 2. So if the object would continue to move, sort of as it is right now, with the same velocity as it's moving at that time point, in one second, it would move 2 meters. So then the velocity would be 2 meters per second. is 2 at a specific time t, then the instantaneous velocity at t would be 2, and the unit would be meters per second. The unit is obtained by just looking at the different, I mean it's given in seconds, that's given in meters, that's what it means in this. So that's the velocity. And <coughs> so the velocity describes, notice the unit of the velocity, meters per second. So it describes how quickly the displacement changes with respect to a given time unit. How many meters does it change in one second? So it's the rate of change of the displacement.
the rate of change of the displacement edge. So, <coughs> so it means that if the derivative has an interpretation in a situation like that, it gives the slope of the tangent at a specific point, and that's the rate of change of the quantity at that point, which in this case means that it's the rate of change of displacement, which means that it's called But now we're going to expand this into a number of different directions. But first, let's write down the general observation that we make from this. Perhaps this is to understand this graphical. We could also discuss how you can understand it from the definition of the derivative, so the limit of the difference in the values of the function and h. But that's probably at least that the rate of change is the derivative. The rate of change, instantaneous rate of change of a quantity is the derivative at that point. case we have a sinusoidal function, sinusoidal function. So we say that the water level, which is in meters, at time t, which is in hours, is given by that kind of function. And we ask for the rate of change at different time modes. So let's try to sketch the graph of that function before we do this. Now what do we know about that function? Sign curve, right? Okay. And what's the what are the minimum and the maximum values? So, 
So you have minus 2, right? So this probably describes, okay, you have some zero level of water, and then you only 